Hello and welcome back to my channel. This week is my daughter's birthday and her favorite Disney princess is Elsa and she loves the new movie and she wants the outfit she wears in the movie when she is fighting the water horse. However, I do not like the costumes that are in the store so I decided to go ahead and make her one. I made the pattern using my mannequin I have that's approximately her size and I bought this glittery stretch tool and I also bought some stretch light blue fabric as well. When I made this, I did put the slit on the wrong side, so I did fix that later with some princess seams that go down each side. I apparently forgot to hit the record button when I cut out the blue material, but since the blue material underneath the stretch tool is an off-the-shoulder design, I went ahead and cut out a front piece, back piece, and two arms. I also used the same stretch blue to cut out some pants. And for the pattern for the pants, I just used some old stretch pants that she that still fit her, but she doesn't wear anymore as a pattern. So here is the front piece and the back piece. I will sew these together from the side seams. I do not attach the shoulder seams since this is going to be an off the shoulder shirt. And with the pants I just pinned along the side seam and then I go back to the shirt. Once the side seams are done, I go ahead and attach the arms. And since the shirt is basically done, I go ahead and I finish the pants. I go ahead and sew the inner seam up, and then I go ahead and I pin and sew the crotch area. With this outfit, I did go ahead and serge every single seam. The shirt, I did not bother to hem it, top or bottom, since it's going to be under the white stretch tool material. Now it's time to create the waistband. All I did was cut a rectangle and some elastic to the size I need, sew it up, add it to the pants, and then feed the elastic through.
anytime I make a elastic waistband, I always put a stitch in the back of the elastic. One, it helps keep the elastic from rolling, and two, it lets me know which is the back and which is the front of the pants. And with the blue outfit, it's done. Now it's time to work on the glittery tool. The glittery tool does not have an off-the-shoulder design. It actually has a shoulder seam to it. So with this, I connected it by the shoulder seams and the side seams. And since this is all stretch material, I do not have to put any closures on it. And like I said earlier, I did put the slit in the wrong side of the outer material. I did fix it by putting princess seams on each side of the chest and I did put simulate that on the back part of the glittery tool as well. And I did serge all the edges on this glittery tool as well. And here I'm just sewing the sleeves up into tubes and then adding them to the bodice material. Since that's done now, it's time to join the two bodices together. I did put them on my daughter's mannequin, and I did pin where the blue shirt hit the white shirt underneath so I could sew it on. And I first hand stitch it to just attack it down, and then I use the machine to completely sew it on. And I only do it on the front and the shoulders. I did also serge the edges of the shirt together so that way it's connected there too. And with that, it's done. However, my daughter's a little extra and she lacks her sparkles, so we're going to add some. I had some acrylic rhinestones left over from painting my daughter's bedroom and some jam tech glue, and I attached those on the box. On the dress itself, it has this snowflake design right above the ruching part of, and the slit of the bodice. So here I'm using my textile medium and acrylic paint and creating that. And here is the final outfit. I found the boots at Walmart during Halloween time and I figured they were perfect. She does have a hard time walking in them because she's not used to heels.
If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you next week. And have safe and happy holidays. Bye!